G'day, I'm Martin Cowling from the Squashka Association. This afternoon we're at beautiful Reader's Point on Morton Island. The target fish are sand whiting. This is the perfect time of the year in spring. Nice light northeast wind blowing. Conditions are right, so expect a lot of action. This is the sort of feature we're after at Reader's Point. These magnificent melon holes here. As the tide comes in, expect the whiting to come up through these melon holes to feed, and we'll just keep working along with myself, two mates, and see if we can catch those fish on this making tide. Down here at Reader's, it's sometimes a bit of a patience game. The tide's just turned, starting to run in, so we're just waiting for that little shoal of whiting to come moving through. So as that tide picks up, a little bit more current, We'll just keep moving around until we find a little shoal. This afternoon for these whiting, I've chosen a Wilson live fibre rod matched with a 55 BE Alvey reel. I'm using a six pound line and together with that, I've made a trace up, about a nine pound trace. I'm using a two hook rig, size one ball sinker, red tubing on size four French hooks. One of the secrets of catching whiting is to have quality bait. This afternoon, I've chosen two types of bait that have been working for me over the years, and that's live sand wrigglers dug at the Redcliffe Peninsula, and the other one are mud worms. These are a commercial worm purchased from East Coast Live Bait. These two worms are perfect for these sand whiting. This afternoon, I'm fishing fairly light. I've got the trusty wading bag, I've got my sinkers, and I've got my tracers tied on a bit of styrene foam. So if I do have a bit of a tangle, I can take the old tangle trace, put it in my wading bag, and quickly take another trace off here and get back in the water. When those whiting are shoaling, it's good to get straight back onto the fish and start catching them again. The idea this evening down here at Reader's Point is to wait for nightfall. What we'll find will happen is, as that tide comes in, the whiting that love to bite here at night should work their way through between Reader's Point and the Karingal Township on this nice little bit of a bar where we are. So we've only got to be patient here Wait till darkness comes along and catch a nice bit of white. Being patient has paid off down here at Readers. The darkness has fallen, the tide's coming in, and the whiting is starting to bite. I've just thrown out again, and sure enough, I've got a nice whiting, but guess what? He's got a mate, so I've just got a set of dubs. Both these fish are around the 26, maybe 27 centimetre size, which is typical of a sand whiting. They're not a large fish, but they are here in numbers and um, it's a great start. These sand whiting have come on the bite now. This tide's well and truly in. I'm getting a bite every throw, so it feels like I've got another bit of an inquiry now. Yep, there he goes. Okay, beautiful. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, oh yeah. There's another sand whiting. He's a this one's not too big. I'm just going to check the legal size of this one. He's probably about 23, 24 centimetres. There's bigger fish out there, so I'll put the stick on this bloke and I'll keep fishing. Don't forget sand whiting have a total bag limit of 30 fish per angler. The minimum size limit is 23 centimetres. Whoa, just short of the line. If in doubt, just release them alive. Oh, there he is. Boy, that was close. This one was just right, almost just in front of me, about 15 feet, and I sort of pull it up. It's not a big whiting, he's only about probably just on the legal size of 23 centimetres, small sand whiting, so I might release this little bloke and see if I can get a bigger one. When night fishing, use a good reliable torch to help you bait up. Try to keep the beam off the water as it scares the fish. So just turn away from the water when baiting up. fish are well and truly on the bite now. I just had another bit of an inquiry and sure enough there, look, oh hang on, there he goes. When night fishing, keep the rod tip up nice and high and you'll feel every bite with that sensitive rod. These 
whiting have been nice and steady tonight. They're, they're not a large whiting, they're fish about between the 23, say 25 to 26 centimetre size. We've had a good little session down here at Reader's Point. The tides come in, the fish have come on the bite, and I've got a nice little feed of whiting. I don't know, there'd probably be seven or eight, maybe ten nice fish. Uh, fish around that 26, 28 centimetre mark. They're not a big whiting, but they're quite legal. They're really good fun, and we're going to go home and have a bit of a rest, get up in the morning, and go and have a go at the Yellow Patch Lagoon. Morning. We're up at beautiful yellow patch this morning. The whiting seem to be on the bite. The locals are keen. We had a lot of fun last night, so we've regrouped. The boys are really keen, so let's see if we can get a few of these nice sand whiting that frequent this area. Try fishing in the shallows, as a lot of fish like the foamy gutters to hunt for their food. Just threw out again and just got another bit of a bite from whiting. I'll just have a look and see. Oh, yep. Yeah. Feels like he's on the line. That's a good sign. Nice steady pressure. Keep the rod up. It's a nice soft rod, so it does all the work. Oh, yeah. There we go. Nice and steady. What a beautiful place Morton Island is. Oh, yeah. He feels like a nice fish, actually. So I'll just take my time. That's it. Come on, fella. There we go. That's the sort of thing we're after here today, those... Nice big sand whiting at Morton Island. Fabulous. This one's a little bit greedy. I'm using a mudworm on the top hook and a wriggle worm on the bottom hook, and sure enough, he swallowed both hooks. As the tide makes, these whiting continue to forage up into the shallow drains. You don't need to wait out when conditions are this good, or you'll simply stand on the fish. No, it just took me let on just to drift it down down through that little gutter there. They seem to like it. What better way to spend the morning than fishing over at Morton Island? Right. There he is. There we go. Oh yeah. Great spot. Great mates. Fabulous weather. Have a lovely whiting just, just sitting there waiting for me. What a way to finish up. Beautiful Morton Island, it's produced again. You can't beat that. What a great way to finish the morning. I've probably got a, a dozen nice sand whiting here, up at the beautiful yellow patch area. Perfect day. I'll tell you what, these fish are starting to make me a bit hungry. Scaling and filleting fish like these whiting is made easier when you put them in a nice size slurry. They're in perfect condition and they sit nice and straight, nice and rigid. So when you take the scales off, it's easy. And when you take the fillet off, they don't bounce around too much. So nice and cold, ready to be filleted. Oh, now that I've scaled them and wash the scales away. The next thing to do is to fill them. So I've chosen a nice, fine old favourite of mine for fiddling. It's a fairly soft, flexible blade, but exceptionally sharp. So the first process is to bring the knife down behind the head like this and make a cut just down behind there. So I can actually get, get straight behind that bit of a pectoral fin, turn my knife and just basically move the blade through like that, take the fillet off. So there's one side, 
turn him over, set this on the other side, make that cut there, get your knife flat down along the spine and just take that off like that. So there he is. So there we go, not too much waste on that whiting. The next process, which is the last process, which some people find a bit difficult, is taking out that pin bone. Now, I do it with the rib cage in one hit, so I get my knife, I get it behind the rib cage, just above it, straight down, turn it, I've gone down below the pin bone, back up and I've got that rib cage, I've captured the whole lot in one thing. So you can feel it with your finger, there's nothing left. It's just a nice clean fillet of whiting, no little pin bone there to annoy anyone. All done now, bones completely removed. A good way to end a nice fishing trip with something as good a quality as these fresh sand whiting for tea. And I'll tell you what, they're starting to make me hungry already. I'd like to thank the following sponsors for their support. My Cat, Albie Reels, and Wilson's Tackle. Thanks very much.